everyone! So, it's been a while since I did a video again, I know, and uh, my whole setup's different. I kind of wanted to incorporate my desk, but that's like impossible for me to have something to like hold it on, if that makes any sense. Like, um, my camera doesn't have like a stand of its own. Anyways, so I thought I'd bring my October favorites. It's a little late, but I've been working, so, um, uh, yeah. Anyways, let's just get into it. So, first thing I've been loving this year, and I guess, I, I mean, I've been loving every single part about it, is my Too Faced Little Black Book of Beauty. And, um, I bought this from Ulta, uh, probably in the beginning of the month of October. And, um, I've just been using it all month, and the colors are great. There's, uh, one matte color, it's this matte rose here. And then the rest are shimmers, and this copper right here is just the most gorgeous copper I've ever seen. I don't know if you can see that on my finger, but it is just so beautiful. And then it has two blushes, a bronzer, and a highlight. And the bronzer and the highlight are okay. Um, the bronzer comes off a little orange, and the highlight has some glitter in it, so I'm not, you know, 100% like, woo! But I really do love the palette, and I think all the colors are very pigmented, and, um very nice and silky and easy and blendable so I'm really enjoying that in the month of October that was a really really lovely palette another thing I'm enjoying is the Urban Decay Primer Potion can't go wrong with the Primer Potion you know always gotta have that and the foundation I've been using is the same old same old this is the Revlon color stay whipped in medium beige and I've gotten down pretty far getting there you know what I mean but I've been using that all month. Then the blush I've been using is the Wet n Wild and the color is Mellow Wine, the color icon blushes. And I really, really, really do love these blushes. They're so pigmented, like so pigmented. I mean, I'm touching it. I don't know if you can see that, but these blushes are just so pigmented. And this one, like I said, is Mellow Wine, so it's been really great for the fall. And I've just really been loving it. It's such a great blush. It's so natural looking. And there's no shimmer unless you get one with shimmer. And even then, the shimmer is not crazy, insane, glittery. You know what I mean? So I've really been loving that. The next thing I've been really loving is my teasing brush. If you all hadn't noticed, um, my extensions are no longer blonde. <laughs> I dyed them brown because I was just tired of having multicolored extensions and hair. I just thought that was really weird. So I went ahead and took the plunge and I dyed them. And um, they didn't come out as great as I would like them to, but yeah, so I've been using my teasing comb a lot to stick my extensions in. <laughs> Anyways. So, the mascara, same old, same old, uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. I love this stuff. It makes me feel like I'm wearing falsies. <laughs> and then the eyeliner, I've actually been um, practicing my cat wing and doing eyeliner a lot, and I went up and uh, my store actually um, carries Jordana, uh, the Jordana makeup line, which is supposed to be really old school. I didn't really know too much about it until I started working at my store. And um, this is just their, uh, it's the Fabuliner Liquid Eyeliner m Marker, and oh, I love it so much. I feel like it's not too skinny, let's see if it's showing up there, it's not too skinny, it's not too fat, the consistency is really nice, and it stays on, and it's not waterproof, but it stays on pretty well. Like, I've teared up, you know, putting it on, and it didn't come off, so it's pretty good, but it's not waterproof. The next thing I've been loving, and I just picked this up, and it's all the flair on YouTube right now, is the Revlon Precision Dark Lash Glue. I am in love with this stuff. Previously, I was using something else, and it was very goopy, and it was very hard to work with. And um, Emily Noel, in that 83, I believe her channel is, recommended this. It's amazing. If you're having trouble with eyelash glue or anything like that, Go get this because it's so amazing. It makes t ten times a difference when you use it. Like, that's how good it is. The next thing I've been really loving for the month of October, and I can't believe it even lasted me this long, but it has. It's that little sample of the Laura Geller uh, face primer, the Spackle. So, 
I've really been loving this. I'm going to be so sad when it is completely gone. As you can see, I've been saving it and savoring it. And I'm not even sure how much the full, uh, the full container is going to be. But I think I'm going to take the plunge and do it because this stuff is so awesome. I've never had a primer that I liked so much. And then another thing, and this is another go-to, as everyone knows, is my highlight in Tiki. Well, it's the So Bronze Bronzer from Hard Candy, but the color is, it, it's a bronze. Anyways, it's Tiki, okay? And that's it. And it's just a beautiful golden um, highlight. I really, really, really love this. Honestly, I don't use anything else. Like, this is my highlight. Until I get in the market for another one, that's my highlight. That's all I use. <laughs> And um, the last thing I wanted to mention was my Chi Iron Guard. Now this is, um, it's a love-hate relationship. I really love this stuff because I really feel like it's guarding my hair like it's supposed to. It's keeping it from getting burnt and whatnot. But I do notice that when you spray this in your hair, it's almost like a really, 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 really um, easy kind of hairspray if that makes any sense like it's like hairspray but way way lighter like it's not that sticky but it does have some stickiness to it so when you spray this on your hair and let it dry your hair feels you know like you put like some hairspray in it or something so that's the only bad complaints I have about this but other than that it's been saving my hair it's awesome it smells good I know that's weird but I think all cheese products smell amazing Oh yes, and that's not the last thing. I lied. <laughs> the really the last thing I've been using a lot in the month of October is my uh, um, so tongue twisted my Revlon lip butter in Gumdrop. And I know this isn't exactly a fall color, but I really haven't like found a fall pink or um, a fall like lipstick that I'm absolutely in love with right now. So. I've been going to this. It's just really beautiful. I'm wearing it right now. It comes off like a like a Barbie pink. I don't know. I really, 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 really love the color. I think I think just it's an awesome color and I, it's moisturizing. The lip, Revlon lip waters they're amazing. So I think that wraps it up for my um, October favorites. I know it wasn't that much this time, and oh yeah. I've been loving my extensions. <laughs> Throw that in there. But yeah, so that was my October favorites. And um, I hope you guys are still watching out there. I'm sorry I haven't been putting a lot of videos up. I've been busy. I've been working. Holidays. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> but anyways, if you haven't subscribed, do so already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.